Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing Mode GP 22 and we are on the final part now of the Season 9 2009 game mode and it has been absolutely brilliant. I have really, really enjoyed this challenge, this uh, sequence of events from 2009 and I'm going to miss it a lot I think. Uh, I'm going to probably return back to it at some point, probably not to do the videos again but maybe just on my own to have a bit of fun but for the future we do have to look forward to is a full season of 2009 in the future where we're going to be playing the entire season mode, but I'm yet to choose the rider. Now a few of you have mentioned Andrea De Vizioso and some such as Danny Pedroza on screen like now. But getting to the task that we have at hand today, that is uh, using Danny Pedroza for the last four and a half laps right here in Valencia and we need to finish in not just the first position but distant second by at least 2.6 seconds and currently as it stands we have a three second advantage to Valentino Rossi so we do have this one in the bag as long as we can continue to push quite a lot out. Do have to probably consider the fuel a little bit. We're only a, a bit above the amount of fuel that we're going to be needing so I'm probably going to have to drop it down to power setting two sooner rather than later but we'll cross that bridge when we get there but for now we're going to get across the line we're going to start lap two of five or at least uh, lap 27 out of 30 and hopefully we can keep on this lead so going into the first corner of uh, Jorge Martinez Aspar as we go to the left hand side we're going to bring on the power and get the wheels parallel so we can get on the brakes for the doing corner of turn two and so far I can see that advantage rising up to 3.3 can it get higher it certainly can up to 3.5 to 3.6 and hopefully even beyond. But into turn four now, looks like Danny, uh, excuse me, I thought it was Randy Dupunier. Yes, it is Randy Dupunier, fastest man on track with a 132.067 as Danny Pedroza just gets off the track a little bit loose there into the right hand side. But now, looking at it, yes, I just realized that our AI did the first couple of first, first couple of corners for the first sector. That is why our lap time of 139. 142 is certainly not going to be our best. I'm, I'm pretty keen to see what we can produce. I do love the circuit of Valencia. Apparently it's a great spot to watch here in, uh, in the Ricardo Tormo circuit because apparently you can see literally everything almost from everywhere from where you sat. So that's a, a pretty good spot to be in if I do say so myself. But I uh, quite like Valencia. Apparently not. No, I've <laughs> gone wide into the uh, innocuous corner of turn 12. Gotta try and regain the composure here and get it all together and bring on the power but we have just lost that advantage to Valentino Rossi in second position so this oh it's it's quite close I'm quite confident in our abilities but across the line it is a 132 532 so only losing five tenths to the fastest man on track which was De Punier. after all those moments I don't think we've got anything to worry about in this one I think we should be quite all right and it looks like we should be able to use power setting three for the final duration of the Grand Prix, but we'll keep an eye on it for now. Still use power setting two until we have any more moments like that where we might actually consider saving it for a little bit later. But finally, guys, of course, please let me know in the comment section down below who you want me to use for the season of 2009 when we do try and replicate that fantastic season. I'm, I'm tempted to go for Andrea De Vizio, so I really am, or even his factory reps on the teammate Danny Pedroza, as you guys have requested. But I'm quite happy to choose anyone. The late great Nicky Hayden, Casey Stoner, maybe another Ducati win. Colin Edwards, James Toesland, of course. The British rider, it would be lovely to see him win a MotoGP World Championship. So let me know in the comment section down below and we can decide within the near future. Got more career mode videos that's coming out as well very soon. And of course a, uh, a track guide in Mugello to feature as well. And I haven't neglected Ride 4 either, so keep an eye out. For all those videos coming out this week or maybe even next. But into the final corner for the Adrian Campos corner, turn 14. We're going to be entering in for the left hand side, bringing on the power. Final couple of laps now, getting across the line. We're going to set a terrific lap time for 130.671. The AI cannot compete with that. I'm pretty confident we got this one in the bag. I do want to use Power 73. I really want to know how quick we can go around this circuit. Well, here we go into the doing corner for the second time into uh, turn two actually for the uh, fourth time apparently or third time since the AI tackled the corner earlier on but now getting our first track limit warning 
So it's not really a thing back then, but uh, we'll take the track limit warning, at least one of them. Because, uh, well, I don't think we're going to make any more mistakes that egregious, as we just kind of made a mistake on on that moment there before Angel Neto corner. So I'll we'll have to keep an eye on that, but for now, I don't think we're going to be too concerned. Not really, not at this stage of the Grand Prix. We should be absolutely fine. But into the left hand side for turn 8, the spot where Fabio Quattararo Sr.'s World Championship hopes and dreams disappear in 2020. As we now go for the right hand side for turn 10, bringing it in. Keep it in nice and tight if you can. And then bring on the acceleration, open that right throttle, and then get it in to the right hand for the difficult turn 12 for the champion head off's corner. Really. Really difficult corner that one. It's always one of those ones that you feel like you're going in too hot or maybe too slow. You just never really find the right feel for it. It's a, it's a very difficult corner to get right. But now into the final corner on the penultimate lap. We have a four tenths of a second disappointment on this one. So it's down to this. Palace only three enabled. Let's go for it. Let's absolutely push like mad to get the fast lap of the Grand Prix. We've got the job done. We're on our penultimate challenge here for the Season 9 2009 game mode and it will be over, sad to say, but I guess it opens the avenue for a lot more different content. So if this wasn't your favourite content, we've got a lot better ones coming very, very soon. But into the right now for Nico Tyrol for the final time of today's video, getting really caught up on the rumble strip there, but it held it well. But continued moving the right, I think the wheel would have just dipped over the rumble strip and went in the green. But thankfully, we didn't manage to do it that time around. We stayed within track limits, and now we're on it once again. Into the left, here we go for a fifth yon. As we now go pretty strong on the brakes into turn eight. Still quite close to the lap time from previous, but wow, great acceleration coming out of turn eight, and now into turn nine. Looks like we're gonna improve this lap time, possibly Maybe if we push hard enough, we could get into the 129s. That could be a wonderful, wonderful finish, but it's not really the end of the world if we don't get it done. But into the right-hand side for turn 12, keep it in nice and tight. Change of direction for the left-hand side for 13, and then bring on the power, bring on the brakes, and a moment for the turn 14, the Adrian Campos corner, of course, for the left-hand side. It's gone a little bit deep. Not going to get the 129, but what a performance. What a finish. Danny Pedros wins here. And that is the end of the video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know in the comments section down below. Hit the like button and consider subscribing as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.